welcome to our channel for another video. Um, Daniel from the World Cruisers and Maria is currently behind the camera. Hi. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> so for today's video, we're going to be uh, removing our tow hooks on our 2016 Chevy Silverado. Yeah. So right here, these tow hooks. So ours are 2016. I want to say they're similar from 2014 to, to 2018. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see how hard it is because uh, our research uh, shows us that one of the tow hooks is harder than the other uh, as far as uh, clearance with a bolt or whatever uh, it may be. So I guess we're going to find out. Um, but hopefully uh, it we'll, won't be too hard for us. Exactly. I mean, we're not professionals, but uh, I think we're both mechanically inclined enough. And, you know, the first tool is just to relax, open up a <laughs> beer. It should take only a couple of minutes and it ends up being like a couple hours. <laughs> All right, so for this project, we're gonna be using a ratchet and 18 millimeter socket. You can use a wrench and then we're just gonna use another 18 millimeter ratchet. Uh, got this from Harbor Freight, <laughs> it's pretty cheap. And hopefully I can use this guy. But what is that? This is our Milwaukee ratchet. All right, so this is the Passenger side. Uh, there's a nut on the other side of this bolt here. It's a little tight. It's okay. I was gonna use my impact gun, but there's not really that much room, and I don't have a a swivel style socket. So you probably could do that if, if you have that. And I just realized I only have like two 18 millimeter sockets. I have like 20 17s for some reason. <laughs> so this one goes straight into the uh, tow hook itself. So, let's so which see. one are you using? I'm still using 18 millimeter. Okay. There you go. Sorry, it feels loose. Let's see. Mm. It's Actually, it's not as long as it feels. Alright, so after that, the tow hook is loose. So it's loose, so just pull it out. And there's this foam stuff. Let's see here. Go. Well, it's out. So you can see the this bolt threads right here. This one goes all the way through. Okay. So that is the passenger side. All right, so we're on the driver's side. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty much the same thing. You get the you get the bolt that goes straight to the tow hook, and you get the bolt that has a uh, 18 millimeter nut on the other side. The hard part that everyone has a problem with is this bolt comes out and it hits this. So we have to re remove that first. So we're going to try to find a way to either pry this up or maybe we'll just try to remove it. So here's the 18 millimeter. It goes right here. So we have another 18 millimeter right here. Mm -hmm. Bolt that goes down. And then also, uh, this is attached to right here. There's a bolt up here. And this is a 13 millimeter. So as you can see, it's gonna be this one. I don't know if this is actually gonna work or not, but. Let's see. So, it's that one. And then there's one here somewhere. Then why don't we just Take it all the way anyways. Yeah, this one do.
So we are removing the wire. Yeah. Just in case. All right. Now we gotta do this one. Can you see? All the top ones are done. I'm just gonna take off these three seven millimeter bolts. So I'm gonna use this real quick. So now this bracket should come out. Famous last words. All right, this bracket's out. Sweet. This one here, this one here, see? This one is the one that's just attached to the other one. Exactly like how the... Yeah, look. like right here is a bolt and then that mm -hmm. right here. The real life struggle of removing the... <coughs> two hooks, right? Yeah. Or two hooks. Okay, now, now I need to see on the other side, babe. Like where I took off this bolt. Mm -hmm. Can you see if there's another one? Cause I think if we remove this, get this part to move. Yeah, but it's different. It just look different. It's attached to the top part. You know what? I'm gonna do this one first though. Over here. to go like this and like that all right ready mm -hmm. all right. oh, <laughs> we got it yeah <laughs> no i can't get it out i'm just kidding but uh pretty much this tab has to be bent up a little bit i know that People will say, oh, we well, bent it. Well, you can always bend it back down. Yeah. And then when you tighten up, then... It re regardless if we bent it, it as yeah. long as if, so, if you bolt it back, it doesn't really matter. It is difficult, but it's not impossible. Oh, actually, yeah, the toe hook's not even out yet. We just have to wiggle it out, though. So, after getting uh, both of the bolts pulled, you know... We thought, hey, you know, it's just going to pull out. But it was a, that was a different story, though. It was very hard. <laughs> so what we ended up having to do is, one, we had to cut the foam. That way you could see what was going on. Yeah, because we thought there's um, another thing that make it stuck inside. We, we, don't, we, we don't need this anyways. Yes. But, um, but so you guys know, what we ended up having to do, then Maria had to get this little crowbar or this uh, pry bar and wedge it between this and the actual frame. Mm -hmm. So we put this between it. While, while Daniel was pulling it out. Hammered it in. And once she hammered it in a little bit. It's actually good. I just ended up just yanking it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the driver's side tow hook is not impossible. Um, some people, instead of going through all the hassle, of taking all that stuff off and bending that metal tab or whatever, some people do just cut off the bolts and get the replacement from Chevy. We tried so, to see if we can do something without having to cut the yeah. bolt off. I was determined to see if we could. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and you know, some people will actually take off the whole bumper, which that's kind of crazy. But I, I don't. They want to. Whatever works for you. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't want to go that route. I wanted to see if there's a way without taking off the bumper and without cutting off the bolt. Yeah. And. Yeah, it was a pain in pain in the butt, but uh, we did it. But it's not it's not 
to where you can't do it, you know, it's still possible. It's not impossible. All right, so at the beginning of the video, <laughs> you probably saw that we had three tools on the toolbox. But all in reality, we end up using all of these. This is what we used. <laughs> <laughs> so, so all the crowbars, the pry bars, a hammer, a razor, needle nose for the wires. Um, I didn't use the dikes. Thank God. Yeah, pretty much. All right, so, so that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Until then, thank you and God bless. Ciao.